you know, the first person who ever got treated of an antibiotic, with an antibiotic uh, penicillin uh, back in 1941, I believe, was a policeman who had just been working in his rose garden. He'd been scratched on his cheek and he got a Staphylococcus aureus infection, turned into an abscess and nearly died from it. Now that's a world where someone could just get scratched on their cheek with a rose thorn and nearly die of it. And we're going right back into that situation. Or we're going back into a situation where that happens and you need a $10,000 antibiotic to treat that person. I don't think people realize that's what we're headed for. Are there any efforts uh, that are most promising to you or that give you the most hope? No. <laughs> I mean, there has been so little action on resistance, although it's talked about so much, that it's, uh, the pace of change is quite depressing, really. Um, I, I don't know how much worse things have to get before they get better, but it's clear that's really what's going to have to happen. People are going to have to die before someone responds to this.